In the span of over a year and a half, five tournaments have been hosted among three different YouTubers, with all of them being centered on one game, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. On the day of my birth, I, Jack Nintendo 14, am proudly here to announce the first ever running of what I will be calling the Mario Kart 8 Birthday Tournament. I have a lot to go over and how the Mario Kart 8 birthday tournament I will be hosting will work. So let's get to it. For starters, I will be having 24 spaces available for people to join the tournament, but before you can consider joining, please note the following. You must have a copy of Mario Kart 8, physical, digital, doesn't matter, along with the Wii U. Oh, and make sure they're from the United States, for reasons I will go over later. You don't need the downloadable content available for this game in order to join. But if you're able to buy it, then I highly recommend having it downloaded and installed on your Wii U. And lastly, what I will not stress over enough, find the time to attend the dates and times given for your races. Plan ahead and do whatever it takes for you to not miss your scheduled races. Please don't join if you know you won't have the time in the day to participate in my tournament. If you can meet those basic requirements, you are free to enter my tournament. Before I go any further in discussing the rules and what the blue and orange bracket you saw in the thumbnail for this video was, I want to clear up the points that are used for Mario Kart 8. The points you see in game for this tournament will be known as the raw results. In other words, we are not necessarily going to go by those points. Instead, all this will be used to determine the official results. I will be streaming right here on YouTube the live point standings using these spreadsheets for those curious to see where you lie during the tournament. The streams will also be used to help communicate with active competitors to know whether or not races can begin. I will be using these spreadsheets to better measure and alternate the points under the rules I will be pointing out right now. Oh, and one more thing at any point, with some exceptions for the final round of the tournament, should there be a tie in points, it is broken up based on the finishing order of the last race of that round. At any point during the tournament, I will not be allowing excessive use of the advanced techniques known as fire hopping and hop sliding. Both, when successfully performed, can give the user more speed after getting an orange drift or using a mushroom when hopping left and right repeatedly. I am not expecting everyone joining the tournament to be able to know how to hop slide or fire hop, and that is why I am prohibiting it. Additionally, I will not be permitting players to have Morton, Mies, Blue Falcon, and the Mach 8 as part of their cart combo. Morton is self-explanatory, along with the Blue Falcon and the Mach 8, as those are popular cart combo pieces that can enhance fire hopping and hop sliding, which as I have already elaborated on, are not allowed in my tournament. Mies will not be allowed as not only are they able to acquire similar traits that of Morton, but they can also cause trouble in clearly identifying the name of the player using that Mii. Deliberately pulling back to target others in an attempt to unnaturally alter the results in points will also jeopardize your chances during the tournament. If for whatever reason there is anybody who violates these restrictions I have laid down, their points will simply be disallowed from that race that took place in. If any, penalties will be applied to the official results following the conclusion of a round in the tournament. I will be using video evidence and MKTV to confirm penalties that you can report during your races. If it gets to the point where a player decides to violate these rules frequently, I will have no choice but to disqualify you from the tournament. Rules are rules, and I want my tournament to give everyone who joins a fair shot in competing. Besides what I just mentioned, everything else is fair game, such as the elusive phantom drifting, which involves steering halfway to help charge a drift, hopping once after an orange drift to straighten your cart slash bike out, performing a drift by hop sliding, and hopping right before a normal ramp are all other exceptions to the tournament. The Mario Kart 8 Birthday Tournament will use the in-game tournament mode under these settings. 100cc, no computer players, and 5 races per round to list the most noteworthy. I will personal message the codes for the tournament rooms to the new players once I know a round can begin. Since this tournament will take place during the summer, I expect everyone who could be joining to have a flexible schedule. For that reason, rounds of the tournament could take place at any day of the week. There's no telling whether or not the races will be delayed, or not, due to someone not showing up, and so, updates on when the races will take place will be in the comments section of this video, or from the most recent recap video I'll be having after the conclusion of a round in the tournament. Once we have 24 entries in the tournament, 
I will be splitting the 24 players into two divisions, each containing 12 players. There will be a drawing video shortly after we have 24 players, determining who will be placed in what division. The players that finish top 8 in official points from both divisions are who will be advancing to the next round of the tournament. Round 2 of the tournament will begin the same way Round 1 began, with a drawing video to determine the two divisions the remaining 16 players will end up in. In this round, the top 6 in official points from both divisions will advance to Round 3 of the tournament. With only 12 races remaining, there will be no need for a drawing video, determining who is where for Round 3. All 12 remaining racers will race each other, and only the top 8 in official points will advance to the penultimate round of the tournament, Round 4. Here, the remaining 8 racers of the tournament will race for one of the top 4 spots in order to advance to the final round. Round 5 of the tournament is special, as the final 4 players will instead be racing to see who will be the first to win 3 races. Also, the ranking will be determined by the amount of wins and any ties and wins are broken up based on points. Both 3rd and 2nd place winners of the final round will be awarded with what can only be redeemed through a United States 3DS or Wii U, a $10 eShop card. The 1st place winner of the final round and the entire tournament will receive double in a $20 eShop card. If all goes well in this tournament, I will be happy to host another one next year, with possibly the same exact rules. If things don't, due to let's say, behavioral issues, and troubles scheduling rounds, then I will not hesitate to pull the plug on this tournament, terminating it instantly. Whew. Thanks for watching. This video took a lot out of me to make, and it wouldn't surprise me if I left some detail out of this video. In case of that, they will be added in the description or the comments. If there are any questions or concerns you have in regards to the tournament, kindly post it in the comments on this video, or message me directly. If you think all of the rules and things I have going on for this tournament are too much to follow, then the best way I can sum it up, don't break the rules, and do your best for each race you are in. I wish everyone who is looking to join good luck, and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, you're still here. The video is over. Go. Go watch a different video. Oh, fine. But keep this between you and I, alright? You see this playlist? Yeah, there's some killer gameplay featuring me getting to the front and staying there. Watching these videos will surely give you an edge to the tournament. Now go. Get out of here. Before someone else sees our little secrets.